Mesdames et Messieurs, bonsoir. Nous sommes très contents avec vous aujourd'hui pour nous assister à Gala qui fait partie de euh, menu euh, 15e année leadership sommet que Nyon a organisé. Nyon, c'est une organisation qui réunit tout électeur d'office, monde qui est élu, mais qui est d'origine haïtienne aux États-Unis. Il a toujours rencontré une fois dans l'année de, 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 de peut-être mon qui président ou bien choix président de l'organisation pour quand même discuter sur le problème diaspora, également le problème Haïti. Donc, qui a fait pression sur l'autorité américaine pour prendre bonne décision en faveur de la communauté haïtienne, mais aussi en faveur de la politique à mener avec, en Haïti, avec Haïti. Je dis à c'était une belle journée de débat sur plusieurs sujets qui ont rapport avec le pays. Mais dans ce moment-là, nous pourrons assister à un gala, côté que tout le monde est dans Chita, à manger ensemble, bien habillé, et après, pour avoir une prestation musicale de la formation musicale euh, de la formation Zafem. Donc, nous sommes déjà en dedans, y a mangé. Nous pourrons faire tout en dedans pour nous permettre d'assister et de faire ça. Nous pas Guy Wewe, nous très contents avant. Merci parce que vous branchez. Partager pour plus de monde, ouais, puisque c'est un signal de communauté haïtienne, quand même pour l'autre monde qui comprend qui j'en, un peu de monde dans la communauté à travailler et à bataille. Donc, nous avons parlé de Nyon, donc nous avons c'est Gala, Nyon, 5th Annual Leadership Summit Gala. Donc, c'est dans la partie Gala, nous avons Demain matin, nous avons activité avec Grégory Toussaint, euh, Bishop Grégory Toussaint, lui-même qui a pour faire une intervention et pour. Pre... Oh, dit que ce soit de prêche. Est-ce que ce soit de prêche? Oui, peut-être que ce soit de prêche. Oui, de prêche côté que pour aller gagner un moment de louange, de partage et de motivation. Mesdames et messieurs, Guy Wewe avec vous, on est en train de pour nous donner une idée qui est en train de puisque nous déjà connaissons. Et qui est en train de nous faire un peu de temps, on est en train de nous faire un peu de avec quelqu'un qui vient participer dans la ça qui vient commencer à manger. On est en Voilà. C'est comme ça que la déroulé dans Washington, d'ici. En pile électeur d'officio là. En pile moun là. Voilà, mesdames et messieurs. Donc, nous avons une idée de qui j'en ça est pour Assoya. Donc, euh, nous, en dedans, nous avons mangé son fête. Nous avons mangé son fête. Nous avons très huppé. Encore une fois, nous croisons avec Jeff Lozava. Monsieur Lozava, menu à continuer. Mais ça, 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 mais 5 sur 10 combien 100%. 100%. 100%. Et comme nous que alors moi même là comme nous chaque année, nous toujours participé mais année ça est complètement différent de tout année que nous participer en termes d'organisation au niveau organisation organisationnel, c'est parfait, c'est 100%, 100%. Et bon travail qu'a fait là et d'ailleurs au cas où ou sûr pour gain temps faire le tour de la salle là, il y a un pile gros tête là. Ouais, et nous garder Et il identifie quelqu'un, il identifie quelqu'un. Mackenzie la pointe. Ouais. Mackenzie la pointe c'est lui qui c'est lui qui censé avocat fédéral pour Southern District qui représente tout sud des États-Unis d'Amérique et qui a pointé à Nessa par président Biden. Biden. OK Donc c'est premier haïtien qui vit à niveau ça là. Au Raoul Kwame de Chicago, ouais. OK Monsieur Selly qui est attorney général, procureur général pour l'État de Illinois. Ok Alors, même vous avez un peu de temps. Docteur Alex Desulbé. Mère, mère, on a un peu de temps. Mais, mais, mais. Oh, mais on a un peu de temps. Mais vous avez tout le monde là, tout le monde là. Voilà, oui. Nous avons un commissionneur qui est au Nimagi. Ça, c'est une amie haïtienne tout. Ça, c'est bon ami communauté haïtienne. Monsieur Selly qui est commissionneur dans le sud de Miami. Ok, donc lui là pour montrer présence, il n'est pas présent seulement pour montrer support lui à ça qu'a fait là. là. Bah oui, Malen. District 9. <laughs> so you represent Madame, bonsoir. Lee. Ah, bonsoir, bonsoir, bonsoir. Guy Wewe in the house. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. It's been a wonderful weekend. 
we've had that was Odo Bako Odo Bako Fini. Wait, 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 wait. Save it, save it, save it, save it, save it. On bel on bel weekend, it's been wonderful. And it's actually important that we have good friends like Commissioner Maggie coming all the way from South Miami to join us, joining the mayor, joining our friend Jeff. So it is good. It's a so family affair. Family affair. Yes, la famille ça. haïtienne, la famille. Alors nous gagnons. Alors introduit un petit mot rapidement avant de arriver sur le docteur Desulbe. Bonsoir, bienvenue. Why, why Bonjour. Why, why uh, it's important for you to be here. important because this is where the gathering of all great leaders have come. Whenever there's an issue in the community, especially with with our Haitian brothers and sisters, we come here to congregate to make sure that we can address the issues up front. That's why we're here, but also to have a great time and show America that this is what it's about when great minds link up. Yes, that's it. And then in the reunion, we have developed a better strategy to communicate with leaders in Washington to be able to hear us. Pour autant de voix non au sujet du pays d'Haïti, pour autant de voix non au sujet de l'immigration, déportation qui continue à continuer. Et puis pour autant de voix non tout à stratégie et plan non gagné pour non utiliser pour voix non au bénéfice euh, public là, au, au bénéfice communauté haïtienne. Bon, bah, qui est important, nous va regarder avant de nous recevoir le docteur Désumé. Marlène Bastien, c'est commissionnaire district 2, Nami, Dead County. Donc, il est important pour jeunes Cap qui ont plus que 40 ans de militance pour communauté. On dit plus que 40 ans. C'est ça. Cap militaire pour communauté. Docteur Alex Desulme, qui est maire de North Miami. Bonsoir, bienvenue. Et nous content. Vous savez, on merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup, merci. Vous savez, on a monde qui quand même pour 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 qui va voir Dieu à tel là. Et Galba qui fait partie de l'association Sac Sendian. Je dis à parler de à qui sentiment participer là encore comme élu. Oui, comme élu seulement, pas seulement moins fier de groupe ça. Ça son groupe moins t'es formé. Nous ayez une homme qui t'es formé groupe ça dans le lit. Que quand nous avons une vision pour nous tout haïtien américain qui est États-Unis qui est élu pour nous conseiller la jeune de la parler de pays nous Haïti et nous avons un problème Haïti et à et week-end ça comme commission de bassin du nous pas seulement nous travaille dans pile stratégie de ça qui a passé mais nous que toute communauté leaders nous qui a parlé de tout côté de la diaspora qui là ensemble avec élu pour nous tête nous ensemble pour nous travailler pour nous carrer nous bon puis bon Haïti puis Jam et pour pour communauté nous tous ici pour constituer nous représenter bon ici nous sommes très fiers de Asoya et des week-ends ça comme nous connais demain si je veux nous parler un week-end là avec un prayer breakfast hosted by un pasteur Gregory Toussaint voilà nous connais nous-mêmes nous sommes qui ont expérience politique et qui gravit tout échelon yo avant ou rive mer ou grand pile poste qu'on occupe et ou habitué participer nan event ça nous connais nous faire c'est pour nous quand même garder qui solution qu'a porter à problème diaspora mais aussi qui gens nous qu'a fait pression sur autorité américaine par rapport à décision à prendre sur Haïti je dis en termes de résultats concrets qui ça nous arrive réaliser déjà par rapport à force ça nous fait là pour 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 communauté haïtienne également diaspora well nous grand pile vrai nous grand pile monde qui travaille et une bagaille nous fait pas seulement nous faire réunion avec Um, State Department avec um, Ma, um, Mayorkas qui est directeur la parle de l'immigration. Nous parlons avec l'administration Biden pour qu'on ait pour nous qu'on ait un résultat pour résoudre de ce qui a passé dans le pays. Nous, nous, nous avons continué, nous avons une élection pour qui est très important. Et aujourd'hui, nous avons une élection pour nous avoir un nouveau board of directeurs de Nian qui prend le leadership là deux ans de cinq mois. Résultat va déjà? Oui, résultat va déjà. Qu'est-ce qui est lu? Ah oui, nous avons nous un mari vice-magistrat de notre Miami, Marie Simé Irvin, c'est lui qui est président, un nouveau chairman, check pour le passé. Mais le deuxième monde qui est en ligne là, aujourd'hui, a noté voté sur lui, c'est Vanessa Joseph, oh. qui prend lui avec l'autre monde sous le domaine là, um, qui n'a réseau à tout, qui a réellement qui a gardé qui a une gouvernance pour les next two years, qui a un million pour élever, qui a une autre position et qui nous pral aider administration ça ou bien l'autre administration yo pour nous aider ka... pour l'autre bagaille. Voilà, merci de me donner ce résultat, c'est un plaisir pour nous ensemble. Voilà. Merci. Mes amis, je dis à Jeff avec des moi parce que Jeff connait mon yo passer moi. Jeff, you want to introduce Mr. Chef. Chef Bamide. Voilà, bonsoir, bienvenue. Yes, I have son honneur non gagner pour nous introduire Chairman Conte Miami de là. Après meilleur, c'est lui-même, c'est uh, Chairman Oliver Gilbert the third. All right. This is a giveaway way show ah. with thousands and thousands and thousands. How many of viewers around the world? I don't know. So, uh, so, so, Mr. Chair, why was it was it so important for you to be here today? Well, first, I want to support my colleagues from Miami-Dade County, but also, listen, sometimes we don't acknowledge how important the different the different groups are. The Haitian American group, the Haitian 
population and diaspora is important, not just to America, it's not just to Miami-Dade County, but to the world and our evolution and how we actually evolve as a community. I want to be here for Mary Esther May Irvin, I want to be here for Vanessa Joe, I want to be here for Marlene Bastien, but I want to be here for our community. I want to show them that it's, it's, it's not them or us, it's them and us. We're in this together all the time. We're going to stand together on all these issues. We're going to actually effectuate change. We can do that together. Nice, nice. It's a, it's a pleasure for us to, to have you here, to having you here. So um, uh, I don't know if you have something to say to the Haitian community, how we can uh, to, get together to, 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 to put Haiti in another level in the, in the, in the diaspora. Continue to ask questions, continue to talk, continue to make Haiti a prime topic of conversation. Never stop talking about Haiti. Venezuelans don't talk about stop talking about Venezuelans. Cubans don't stop, stop talking about Cubans. Never stop talking about Haiti. Make people understand that it's important how we treat people, how we actually how we actually interact with this country, how we support them. It's actually important. It's an important part of our our foreign policy. Make sure that it's always at the top of the conversation board. You do that, I do that, and eventually when people come to ask for our votes, we ask for their positions, and then we hold them accountable. Let's do that. All right. And thank you for being here, and it's a pleasure for us. Thank All you, right. Marlene Bastien. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you so, you so much. much. Voila. Meeting. Thank you. All right. Thank voilà, you. Madame Bastien, qui avec nous, un pile personnalité. Ça c'est. Chanette Frédéric, Chanette Frédéric qui c'est. Et... Council woman, Everton, New Jersey, qui a plus que 12 ans depuis la travail dans la communauté. Et je dis à Lila la prendre la parole pour quand même euh, euh, permettre nous euh, enjoy. If you can hear me clap once, if you can hear me clap twice, if you can hear me clap three times, let's all take our seats so that we can get the show started. Okay? So please, everyone, be seated. One conversation, please. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is James Pierre. I am so happy and excited to be here with all of you. As you can see, I am not alone. I am here with a Spanish name means beautiful. La linda, la mas bella del mundo. We are here with Councilwoman Linda Julian. Put your hands together for our uh, Councilwoman. But James, you didn't even tell them what city I represent. You see, there's always some secrets when it comes to amazing and beautiful women. And you have to dig deeper to know. So she's from the beautiful state of Florida. She's from the amazing city of Miami Gardens. Miami Gardens. Do we have anybody from Miami Gardens in the building? Chairman, let them know. Chairman Oliver Gilbert, let them know. Mrs. Gervais, let them know. Eddie Gervais, let them know. We represent, baby, all the way from Miami Gardens to Washington, D.C. Yes. And if we have all people from around different states as Haitian Americans to be here tonight, it's because of Neon. Yes. For that reason, I want all of you to put your hands together and give them a warm Haitian congratulations for doing such amazing gala here with amazing people. Well, I cannot talk about Miami Gardens because I'm from a place called Jeremy. And I come here in DC. I was looking for Tom Tom everywhere. I couldn't find Tom Tom. So hopefully we find that soon. But well, we are amazing to get it. All right, to get started tonight, I want all of you to please stand. Oh, say, can you see? By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's Last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket 
is red glow, the bombs bursting in there gave proof through the night that a flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home? Please remain standing for the Haitian National Anthem. Pour Haïti, pays en set, yo, fok nou mache, men la men. Nan mi tan nou pa fet, pour nou get ret. Nous fait pour nous seuls, mettez nous en nous marcher, mais dans la main pour Haïti, Kavin Pibel, en nous, en nous, mettez ensemble. To the set you another and a bigger round of applause for our dear Estime. Great job. Wasn't that just breathtaking? Yes, yes. And Councilwoman, should we ask for another round of applause for her for her dress? Yes. That's a beautiful yes. dress. Look at that. Amazingly done. Yes. And while we are at it, and we know that we are being stream, we are streaming live, Hi. where all our Haitians can watch us around the world, especially Haitians who are in Haiti, Abgadino Aswea. Ma demande nous tant pri si ou parler créole et sou fier que c'est haïtien qui là battion gros bravo pour Haïti si nous croit Haïti pas péri bat bravo pour Haïti si nous croit dans changement Haïti a yon lot gros bravo pour Haïti tant pri s'il vous We're going to call up Bishop Gregory Toussaint to do the invocation Please put your hands together for our bishop Gregory Toussaint joining us. Looking great as always, should I say. Thank you for being here with us, Bishop. Let's pray, shall we? Father, we thank you for the opportunity to be here, to be gathered here. Thank you for the breath of life, and thank you for giving us a vision for our community and for our nation. We pray that you give us your wisdom, your understanding, and most importantly, Lord, a spirit of unity so we can work together. In Jesus' name, amen. That's right. And we all know that when a prayer like that just coming in so great that the blessings are really close by. That's right. That's right. And we got to receive them. I was praying for a lot of things. I know so many amazing faces here tonight. We haven't say hi and Hello. We took like some pictures outside and some folks. But I'm glad to see so many great faces here tonight. And hopefully, we can be friends. Should I say a big shout out to Mandodo? We have Uncle Jeff here in the building, straight from Woo! Miami. Mandodo Foundation helping so many kids in the southern side of Haiti. I had a chance to travel for CNN and News Nation to do some report about the work that they are doing in Haiti. Congrats on the work that you are doing, sir. Very proud of you. Thank you. We well, also have some folks from Miami Gardens. Well, we have folks from Florida. Oh. You know, let it be known. Let it oh. be known, ladies and gentlemen, that 
of the funds raised for this NEON conference was raised by folks in Florida. Give it up for Florida. She's doing amazing work about Florida, but I'm trying to go more to the northern side. <laughs> Put your hands together for the first judge, woman that we have here, and amazing to have her around her. She's been a member of NEON for the past 10 years. Put your hands together for the Honorable Card Wright, we will introduce later officially Woo! here with us tonight. New York is representing. Come on, Councilwoman, who else do you have? Well, let me tell you something, baby. Let me tell you something. I'm from Miami-Dade County. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A city called Miami Gardens the largest black city in the state of Florida. Okay. And I just want everybody to know that the, the, the chairman of the board of Miami-Dade County, Chairman Oliver G. Gilbert is in the building today. Chairman stands up. Wow. Okay. He is our chairman in Miami Gardens, District 1, and he was my mayor for the city of Miami Gardens. Okay. Made a great wow. contribution to Neon this evening, so we want to give it up for the chairman. We also want to give it up for oh. Commissioner Marlon Bastien. Yes, representing A District Two. Pioneer. Yes. Wow. Yes. Who also made this possible? We got the powerful three here, and then we have Commissioner Keone McGee, who's also on the Miami-Dade County Commission. All y'all stand up. All y'all stand up. Y'all wow. get a photo of these three. This is a powerhouse right here. That's right. Well, you can tell that Councilwoman Linda is going all about her political friends. I agree. And should I add that, Kian, we did an amazing TV show together. So proud to be your TV producer and keep producing great content for our community. Well, I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm staying away from politics to go around. If you guys enjoy Haitian culture, music, food, we have someone here as a true pioneer of festival. I'm talking about the Haitian Compa Festival. Have you guys heard about the Haitian Compa Festival in Miami? The biggest festival ever we have here. Noel is festival right here, and we're just joining us as well, the team. Both of them doing a great job in our community. Thank you so much, sir, for what you do and for keeping our culture bright. Okay, we're gonna go back to the list, right? We have so many people to say hi tonight. List. I mean, you can say what you wanna say, Oh, James. oh. I'm just saying. She's like... not giving up. All right, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, before we go back with the contest, because I, I love that side right here, and I know that you're all the way there, so we're gonna have fun tonight. Let's welcome on stage the Neon Chairwoman, the Honorable Seanette Frederick. Put your hands together. Come on, we want to hear it louder. A true leader, a visionary, not even tired for the past five days. Thank you so much. For those of you who do not know, that's the honor, respect, and our Haitian community culture to show the respect for all of us. First, I want you all to give a big round of applause for our hosts and hostess. Honorable Linda Julian and Mr. James Pierre, please. It is definitely an honor for me to be here for the past three days. We've been having an incredible time. From Thursday, we went to the White House. On Friday, we have a day starting with our physically very intense with Honorable Andre Pierre. Can we give him a big round of applause? And then we discuss a lot of issues related to, the, to our issues here in the United States. When it comes for the migration, when it comes for resources, when it comes for advocacy, and where we're going to need all of you to continue to support NEON. And on Saturday, we go over on all of the issues that we have when it comes for Haiti. As you all know, it's been very difficult. During my term, it was a very difficult, hard time for us to figure out how do we make it a difference in our home country. 
With that, I'm really definitely going to continue to need your help to continue the advocacy when it comes for Haiti. We did have U.S. Senator Markey from Massachusetts, please, with all the mass caucus. Thank you so much. We did have U.S. Senator White House from Hall Highland. Hall Highland, give them a big round of applause. We did discuss a lot of great ideas and we need to focus. I want to thank each of my NEON members. For those of you who know, I cannot do everything without an amazing executive um, team. And I want to thank each of our board member who did an incredible job during the past two years to support all of us to make an incredible organization. Please give our executive board a big round of applause. I am so grateful to have a supportive husband. Please give Honor Mr. Joseph Frederick a big round of applause. At, behind every great woman, you have an amazing man. It's impossible to be who I am without my family. All right, thank you so much for that. This organization has been an incredible organization because of each of our members. We have over 70 members here present. Can we have all of our NEON members stand up as we give them a big round of applause? Look at the womb, everyone. We have 18 states, Arizona, Texas, New York, New Jersey, Florida, Massachusetts, Rhode Island. All of our members, we want to say thank you, please, yes. This evening is such an um, Chicago, yes, George Lano Jambatis, yes. Thank you so much, all of our members. This evening, my job's going to be so easy because it is time to almost pass on the baton to our new chair of the National Haitian American Elected Official Network. I want you now to give a big round of applause for our next chair, Honorable Marie Estime Irving. Florida is proud. At this time, I want to say this cannot be possible without our banquet committee. We have Honorable Claudette David, the chair of the committee commissioner in Washington, D.C. But no, she wasn't alone, everyone. She had a whole team helping her to make sure this event is possible. With that, I can never be grateful enough to make sure we have this event. I'm, I will be missed when I say thank you so much to the Fairmont Hotel, to such an incredible place to make this event possible, okay? We have a line of community leader award that we're gonna have. You're gonna be so proud of all the amazing things that we all doing in the community. And I think every of our community leaders that who are here, and then later on we're gonna see them. All of our panelists, all of our speakers, all of our attendees, I wanna say thank you for making this day a, such an amazing day for us. We gonna have later on Zafem. Everybody ready for Zafem? I know it's never easy because I heard we're ready to dance, okay? With that, everyone, we're going to have both our MCs going to call on all of our NREs with all of our members to make sure we say thank you to all of you on doing such an incredible job in each of our respective states. I am so grateful to be here and be grateful for all of you. With that, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed this evening. Thank you. Merci avec toute media qui était là, 
nous gen haïtien tam nous gen voix de l'amérique gi wewe mwen di nou merci avec toute influenceur yo ki sou table la mwen content en tant que yon chairwoman pou nou font travail impeccable nan communauté an n'a continuer travail très fort en tant que yon gros organisation encore une fois merci what a great job and congratulations to the vice mayor Ervin Estimina here. Could you please stand so they can see that amazing yes, dress? Yes. Look how beautiful Jesus. she is. Give us a twirl. Thank you so much for your work. Vice Mayor. Ah. Vice Mayor, please give us a twirl. Give us a twirl, Vice Mayor. You look oh. gorgeous. Yes. 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 You look great. You yes. look great. And we are proud of you. Thank Bum, you so much. Bumgatsa. Well, I have been told, and I experienced that actually with ABC News, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. What city or state I'm talking about? I cannot hear you. Shh. Where are my people from New York? What city? Yeah. New York, well represented. So during the break, I was doing a bit of some research looking around, and I am so happy to see our dear council member, Rita Joseph. You gotta say in a French way. Chair of Education of State of New York. Not once, but twice. Put your hands together for our dear Rita Joseph. And I also see Judge Dwayne somewhere here. What's Judge, the Honorable? I saw the judge somewhere here. She's here, because I saw her too. Outside? She's outside, okay. See, New York handling business. Okay, okay, and I saw State Representative Marie Woodson, state rep, where are you? Stand up, stand up. State representative Marie Woodson, yes. And you guys all know that Neon, not only been doing this for 15 years, but also always working throughout the year to bring great, great, great work in terms of advocating for policies towards not only Haitians living in the United States, but also in Haiti. For that reason, whenever I see a member of NEON, I'm getting excited and I make sure that I say the name. Put your hands together for our dear Claudia David here with us, ladies and gentlemen. She's doing an amazing work. Please stand so they can. There we go. Working tirelessly day and night to put that event together. Thank you so much. And James, you know Arizona is represented as well. Oh. I see my girl, Where's Councilwoman Christine Ellis. Stand up. Whoa. Woo! Give it up for a councilwoman of Chandler, Arizona. That's right. That's right. All right, before we get going, we want to say a big shout out to our sponsors, some of the people making an organization making that event possible. City of North Miami, put your hands together for the city of North Miami. Tabernacle of Glory. Our Bishop was here with us. North Miami, city manager. Beacon Council, Florida Leagues of Cities, FPL. We also have First Triangle, Miami-Dade County Commissioner, Marlene Bastian, Miami-Dade County Commissioner, Keon, we say it earlier. And it's Keone. We also have uh, Prestige, Los LLC, Kellogg Foundation, Michael, Pollock Real Estate, Investments, Empower Your Voice, Commissioner Gilbert, we say earlier. Chairman. Yes. We also have uh, Miami-Dade County Commissioner Kevin Moreno Cabrera, Pierre Franchal, Councilman, North Miami. Woo! That's my friend. These are among all of Stand the sponsors up, that we have for tonight. Representing District 4 in the city of North Miami. But I also know that we have some folks from New Jersey building yeah, table seven here, table nine. Yeah, we got people from New Jersey. And a building, amazing. Talking about New Jersey, we have also another foundation in New Jersey doing great work in our community. The foreign nurses, a beacon of helping so many people in our community nice. passing the NCLEX exam. Nice. Congratulations. And, and I see the mayor for the great city of North Miami here, Alex Del Zume. Oh, mayor, yeah. stand up to be recognized. Former, ch former chairman of NEON. And I saw the former mayor of North Miami here as well, Philippe. The one and, oh, yeah. Philippe, 
Foroyela. Former Mayor Bienna may stand up. Talking about former mayor, we also have former mayor Andre Pierre yes, with his mayor wife Pierre. here in the building. Too. All right, all right, all right. Now a great fitness trainer. Yes, yes. And I got an amazing attorney. I got scolded for not making it to work out this morning. <laughs> all right, so who do we have next? So at this time, we would like to call up our keynote speaker, Mark Moyal. CEO and President of the National Urban League. Put your hands together, guys. For our keynote speaker. Long live Haiti. Uh, first of all, good evening. Uh, I am Mark Morial. And I now serve as President and Chief Executive Officer of the National Urban League. But there's a reason that I am here. I am of Haiti. I am of Haiti, and I'm going to share with you how and why. In 18, and you know the history, 1791 through 1804, our ancestors staged one of the most courageous acts of the millennia. When Toussaint Le Overture, Jean-Jacques Dessalines, Henri Christophe, and many others staged a powerful revolution and threw the French enslavers out of Haiti. As that occurred, there were approximately 20,000 Haitians. During the turmoil of that time, they left Haiti and traveled to my beloved hometown, New Orleans. Those are my ancestors. That is where my family on my father's side emanated from. And when they moved this some 20,000 people, approximately 10,000 to 12,000 of them were of African descent, some enslaved and some free. They doubled the size of the population of New Orleans and have had an impact on that city that lasts to this very day. The food and the music, the people and the culture. Indeed, in my family, on my father's side, Every generation up until my father's generation spoke Creole. And Creole and various forms of French were spoken as much as English in New Orleans from its founding in 1718 until really through the 1930s and 40s. Importantly, I am also a recovering elected official. I served three years as a Louisiana state senator and eight years as the mayor of New Orleans. Before me, 20 years before me, my late father, Ernest N. Morial, served as New Orleans' first black elected official, and in the 1960s, Louisiana's first black legislator since Reconstruction. During my time as mayor, I traveled to Haiti. I received President Preval for a state visit. 
we signed a number of cooperative agreements. You don't know how special it is for me to be here tonight to reaffirm my love for Haiti and its people. And my commitment to work with this organization from my current post as president of the National Urban League now and into the future. Give me a minute or two and let me share a few thoughts with you, some observations. Number one, we must help this nation understand that when it comes to the conversation about immigrants in this country, black immigrants cannot be left out. The black community in America is changing dramatically because of people arriving here from Haiti and Ethiopia and Jamaica and Nigeria primarily and other communities. Our voice collectively in any conversation about immigration policy and immigration law should not be in the shadows and be silent. And this organization has both an opportunity and a responsibility to fill that vacuum and fill that gap. Number two, the history of Haiti and the manner in which the Western world after the revolution treated Haiti like a stepchild is not a story that should be swept under the rug, should not be forgotten, should not be marginalized. Right now, today, the United States Congress and government is discussing a package of aid to two regions in the world, that package totals almost $200 billion. Where's the support for Haiti? Where's the support for a nation that was forced to pay European powers? See, what we can't do in this moment is get locked up. We can't speak. We can't speak the truth because we are afraid somebody might not like it. Do you think that when Tucson El Overture and Jean-Jacques Dessalines and Henry Christophe decided to strike an act of justice that they took a public opinion poll to see how people felt? or sat around asking whether they would offend someone. So it's important that the history of Haiti be told as forcefully, as truthfully as it can. And I, again, want to both challenge, encourage, and partner with you to, to ensure that that occurs. See, there's an effort in this country right now across the board to try to rewrite history with a sack of prevaricating misrepresentations, sometimes known as lies. And we have to respond and stand up to that. We have to respond and stand up to that or we will sink into an age of darkness. So we have a responsibility to do that. Thirdly, what about this country today? This country 
is the wealthiest nation in the history of humankind. 25 trillion, please. 25 trillion. Yet, it's people of color still operate in a second class economic status. When it comes to income and wealth, we have work to do. So I'll leave you with our message at the National Urban League for the 2024 year. It's D3, we call it. First D is we have to defend democracy at every turn. We have to push back on these state legislatures and courts which want to simply gerrymander, make it difficult for us to vote, try to keep us from a hard-won franchise. Number two, we have to demand diversity, equity, and inclusion. We will not let them turn the clock back. We will not. And thirdly, we must defeat poverty. And close the racial wealth gap. Let me close with a story. I want to tell you a story about the donkey and the tiger. So the donkey and the tiger got dressed up in the finest and most flowing attire to attend a huge Mardi Gras celebration in New Orleans. And they were dressed to the nines to get to the Mardi Gras celebration. They had to walk through a park with oak trees and swamps and alligators. And the donkey said to the tiger, look at these beautiful trees and look at these alligators. They are blue in color. The trees are blue, the alligator is blue, to which the tiger said, donkey, what are you talking about? The trees are green. The alligator is green, maybe it's black. What are you talking about? And they got into an old fashioned knock them down, drag them out conversation. Then they said, tell you what we'll do. We're going to go to the wisest person in the kingdom to find out who is right. So they went to the lion. The old mighty lion with the lion's wisdom. And the lion said, okay, state your case. Donkey argued vociferously that the trees were blue and the alligator was blue and everything was blue. And the tiger looked and said, it's so obvious, Mr. Lion, you can look out and see it's all green. And they argued and they argued and the lion said, the lion said, I agree with the tiger. I, with the donkey, I agree with the donkey. The leaves are blue, the alligator is blue, everything is blue. And I sentence you, Mr. Tiger, to five years of silence. The donkey ran off gloating, gloating on his way to tell more lies. The donkey ran off in the Tiger said to the lion, why, Mr. Lion, would you side with the donkey and sentence me to five years of silence? You knew it was obvious. And the lion said, it was obvious that everything was green. But Mr. Tiger, I am punishing you for having the foolishness and the ignorance to argue with a jackass. <laughs> to waste all of your time arguing with somebody when you knew 
it wasn't true. So in this moment, where there are prevaricators and liars, we have to state our case, but not waste our time arguing with jackasses. I love Haiti. One, two. Okay, there we go. Perfect. All right. I've been dying to get the wireless microphone because I feel that I was wired somewhere here, right? And tonight we are here to have fun. Yes, and it's we are. all about fun. And to make sure we have about like, how many people we have in a room? Participants, we have about like 400. There you go. I'm going off, on and off, on and off, on and off. So as they figure out your microphone situation, James, we are going to continue with the acknowledging because we just didn't want to acknowledge all 95 elected officials in the room at once because we were going to bore you. So it is rolling through. So at this time, I want you guys to give it up for Congresswoman Sheila Sheffelis McCormick representing the 20th District of Florida. And she is the only Haitian American Congresswoman that we have so far. So proud of her work. Thank you so much for being here with us. Chapeau by Congresswoman, chapeau by Onola. Thank you so much for your presence here. Who we will officially introduce in a moment. Yeah, yeah, we're going to officially introduce her yeah. in a moment. And then we have a brother that is very near and dear to my heart. Okay. He is just amazing. He is my church mate. He actually attends Antioch Missionary Baptist Church along with me and Chairman Oliver Gilbert. I want to recognize Mark Kinsey Point, United States Attorney for the Southern District of Florida. That's right. Yes. And we also have here with us the North Miami Beach is representing tonight Daniela Jean Woo! here in the building with us. Yes. Daniela, where are you? We also have uh, Florimo and uh, Michael Joseph NMB here with us up. tonight. NMB, stand up. Where, where's NMB? In the back. Where are my people? There you go. Okay, I see Michael right there. Where's Daniela? Somewhere here. Okay. okay. Well, I saw George, Judy in a building. Judge Lodi Joseph. No. Lodi Jean, should I say? There you go. Keep Judge Lodi Jean. Your Honor, Your Honor, stand up to be recognized. Where are you, Judge Lodi Jean? Judge Lodi Jean? Okay, all right. And, and also, the North Miami City Clerk, Vanessa Joseph, here Woo! with us. Who was voted in today as the Vice Chair of NEON. You guys give it up for VJ. Yes. So many people to recognize tonight. And please, don't be mad at me if I forget your name or if I forget to mention. We'll have a second round and the third round of names that we have to mention tonight. No, one's, right, no one here is going to be forgotten. Everybody's going to be recognized. That's right. Make sure we go through all the list. Okay, we also have the former commissioner, Jean Monestime, here in the building. He is the first Haitian American to serve in the Miami Dade County Commissioner and serve as chair as well. Thank you so much for being here with us. Former Councilwoman Marie Erlen, still ill in the building as well. The first Haitian American woman to serve in the North Miami City Council. And then sitting right next to her, we have Florida State Representative Dottie Dottie Joseph. Joseph. Minority Leader Pro Tempor, first Haitian American woman to serve in that legislative leadership role in the country. Thank you so much. And also a great attorney, should I add. Ms. Joseph, thank you so much. Okay. We're going back with uh, most of the folks that we have here tonight. I see some other folks are here on the back yeah, yeah, yeah. that we have to... And we're going to get to everybody. Sure. We're going to get, get to everybody. Get to everybody. There it's, you a, go. it's a lot of us. It's a lot of us elected. It's a lot of us elected. But at this time, James. About 400 it's about, participants here it's tonight. It's a lot of us. It's amazing. 
But we want to bring up who at this time? At this time, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor and pleasure we are welcoming on stage our own, the Congresswoman Sheila Fersalis, to officially swearing in of new members. Please put your hands together for our Congresswoman joining us here at the 15th. Yes. Good evening, everyone. Oh, bonsoir tout le monde. Bonsoir. I'm so happy to be here this evening in Washington, D.C. I'd like to welcome everyone to this beautiful event, but I'm even more proud of what we have been able to do as Haitian American elected officials. I want to begin by saying a great thank you to our chairwoman or our former chair and outgoing chairwoman, Charnette. Frederick, where's Charnette? <laughs> Neon has done exceptional things as we see its evolution, which makes me so proud. This year has been especially challenging for Neon and our black elected officials as we see the crisis that's occurring in Haiti. This crisis that's occurring in Haiti is not just heart-wrenching, but it also is playing a toll on all of our constituents. So it's so imperative the work that NEON has been able to do at this time. We've witnessed NEON mobilize. We've witnessed NEON write letters. We've witnessed NEON get a seat at the table and actually articulate the needs of the Haitians living in Haiti as well as the diaspora. We should all be extremely proud of how NEON has evolved. In addition to that, I'm even prouder to welcome the new members of NEON and the new members who will be joining today the board. So at this moment, I would like to invite all of the new members. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to ask all of the board members, with the exception of our highest office, to please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I please state your name. I please state your name. Do solemnly swear to faithfully execute my duties in office as and state your office to the best of my ability to uphold the Constitution of the United States, to abide by the bylaws of the National Haitian American Elected Official Network, <laughs> and to further the goals and objectives of NEON and the Haitian people. Congratulations, you are duly installed as officers for 2024 to 2026 of National Haitian American Elected Official
execute the duty. To faithfully execute the duty. Of my office. Of my office. To the best of my knowledge and ability. To the best of my knowledge and ability. To commit myself to the Haitian, to the National Haitian American Elected Officials Network. To commit myself to the National Haitian American Elected Officials Network. To abide by NEON's rules. To abide by NEON's rules. Bylaws. Bylaws. And governing policies. And governing policies. And to further the goals. And to further the goals. And objectives. And objectives. Of this organization. Of this organization. I further commit to supporting. I fur further commit to supporting. The mission of NEON. The mission of NEON. By working towards engaging. By working towards engaging. The Haitian community. The Haitian community. And enhancing lives of our Haitian people. And enhancing the lives of our Haitian people. Based on the authority given to me, I hereby install you as the officer of the NEON Haitian American Elected Officials Network. Congratulations, Madam Chair. Another round of applause for Madam Chair, our new chair. seats, I don't know, but or the team could stand behind me. Um, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, NEON members, family and friends, good evening. On this gracious occasion, it is a complete honor to be standing before you. I stand on the shoulders of who's made this possible to recognize the milestone of 15 years of advocating for the Haitian community at home and abroad. And I stand on the shoulders of Marie Saint-Fleur, Honorable Marie Saint-Fleur, Honorable Joseph Champagne, Honorable Victoria Siplin, Honorable Alex Desume of Florida. But tonight, I stand before you as chair of the National American Elected Official Network, affectionately known as NEON, with heart full of immersed gratitude and joy. And I'm honored to accept the position of chairwoman. My name is Mary S.M.A. Irvin, vice mayor of the great city of North Miami. As we gather here on the 15th annual leadership summit under the theme, Reignite the Fire, I am continuously reminded of the strength and resilience of the Haitian community. I am reminded of our strength of being the first people to eradicate slavery on this side of the world. I am reminded of our boldness to eradicate slavery, ensuring that Louisiana Purchase was made reassuring United States national security. For most of us, it's our parents' bravery and sacrifice that brought us here to the United States. So I'd like to take the point of privilege to recognize my parents, mommy and daddy, Jean-Luc Marquez, Simé, and Simon, Thank you so much for being here. While immigrating here, my parents carried hope of resilience in their heart. If someone had predicted during my childhood that I'd be standing here on this stage today, I would not have believed them. As I stand here gazing into the diverse, influenced audience, I am confident that my parents are incredibly proud of the person I've become. To all of you here tonight, I believe your parents and friends and families are equally proud of the remarkable individual that you are. However, the work does not stop here. NEON's mission is to provide a roadmap for our domestic and international agenda. We are called to foster political and financial empowerment, not only for ourselves, but for our generations to come. Our goal, our ambition, and I am eager to lead the change in, in achieving them. Edwidge Dunticott, a Haitian American novelist, activist, and humanitarian once said, hope is not passive. It is, an, it is an active force that can drive change. With your support, I am hopeful that significant change can be achieved during the my time as chair, benefiting both the people in the United States and our sister nation, Haiti. First, I'd like to thank God for placing me in the position to be your chair. 
I am grateful. I am grateful that all of you entrusted me with this responsibility, and I really look forward on working with our new board. And give yourselves a round of applause. Vanessa Joseph, I really look forward to working with you and making this great. It is a privilege to serve, to be the spokesman of the Haitian American community. And I am committed to upholding the values that, the values that NEON stand for. NEON is the largest net group of Haitian American elected and appointed officials in the United States. Presently, NEON has approximately 200 members across 18 states, and we plan to extend. Our members, our members rep represent millions of constituents who are collectively dedicated to support domestic policies, legislations, issues that affect the Haitian populations in the United States. The Haitian community will not be taken for granted. And I'm going to say it again, the Haitian community will not be taken for granted. We will not be neglected. I would like to express my appreciation to the outgoing chairwoman. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for, for Madam Chairwoman, and I'm still gonna call you that, Charnette Federick. We love you. I thank you for your dedication and your hard work in advancing our mission. Please take a moment to give her a strong round of applause. Without all of your help and support and sacrifice, this would not have been possible. This past year has been an absolute pleasure working with you. As we move forward, I want to recognize the outstanding contributions of the elected officials appointed across the nation, such as Ruthie Louis Jeanne, making history being the president of the, Boston, um, of the Boston City Council. Mark Lapointe, Mark Lapointe being the U.S. Attorney of the Southern District of Florida. Our very own Congresswoman Sheila Sherfulis McCormick, the only Congresswoman elected in, in, in our federal our Miami-Dade County Commissioner Marlene Bastien for making history again. And so many of you are making history. I want to take the time to emphasize the importance of the United States being the primary partner of NEON in the restoration of Haiti. Today, together, we can influence international and programs Promote, to promote economic development partnership and to support initiatives that contributes to Haiti's long-term stability. And so I have a whole lot more that I'd like to say, but at the end of the day, we need you, all of you, all of you to really, really push forward this moment. I thank you so much for being here tonight. I know I bothered a lot of you, but I thank you so much. This means so much. There's so much happening in Haiti, and we have to get the work started now. So I think I'm going to read my, my conclusion. <laughs> it's so long, and I, and I know we want to do other things. So in summation, I am excited and thrilled to take the mantle of leadership as your chair. It is my distinct honor to work alongside each of you, the dedicated members of NEON, as we embark the transformative journey. Let us ignite the fire of progress, unity, and empowerment. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your trust, and let, let's move forward together a brighter future for the Haitian, for the Haitian American community. Thank you. Please put your hands together for our new chairwoman. Another one applause for our vice mayor. Thank you so much. Now, please be seated. Yes, congratulations to our new neon you chair. You will have plenty of times to take pictures and videos Mary. later to our new chairwoman. Yes, Mary Estime As we have to Urban. move forward. Please be seated, ladies and gentlemen, as we are moving forward. And we know that we have a full program for you yes, yes. tonight. On top of it, we have the revolutionary band, 
Zafem will yes. be performing tonight. So you Woo! don't want to miss a bit of it. So you know what Please we're going to do. Please be seated as we're moving on. So what we're going to do since the program is... Wait, everybody, grab your seats, everyone. Grab your seats. Quiet down and grab your seats. One conversation, please. Yon conversation, s'il vous plaît. All right. Thank you for your undivided attention. Greatly appreciate it. So you know what we're going to do, James? Since the program is moving along rapidly, at this time, what I'm going to do is I am going to recognize all of the remainder of the elected officials so that we can get that going out the way and then we can get our keynote speaker, the second one, and then move on with the program. So at this time, I'd like to recognize the following elected officials. Quiet down, guys. One conversation, please. Thank you. Lionel Jean-Baptiste, give it up, please. We see you, Your Honor. Thank you for being with us. Kwame Raoul, give it up for Kwame Raoul. You guys can clap. Don't be shy. Clap. Bertrand Louis, yes. My friend. Donnie Felix. Donnie, where are you? Mwoi, Mwoi, Lord Boy, Mwoi, yes. Jean Bradley Derencou. Y'all give it up for Jean Bradley. Ruth Z. Louis Jouen. Ruth Z., where are you? Doing amazing things. Where are you, sis? Yes. She is now serving as city council president in Boston. Shh. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. The Honorable Mercedes Narcisse. You guys give it up for Mercedes. Yes. The Honorable Nancy Bowen, who could not be here with us tonight, but we'd like to recognize her. The Honorable Jude Lord, give it up for Jude. Andre Lourdes Jean Jacques, give it up. Marie Saint Fleur, clap. You guys can clap. Don't be shy. Mayor Samson Bourgelet. Council member Rita Joseph. Councilwoman Cassandra Timothy. Councilwoman Farrah Lewis. Victoria Siblin, give it up for Victoria Siblin. Councilman Dabouz Antoine. Wagner Oge, Eunice Ziegler. Yes, I saw Eunice around here somewhere. Claudette David, who was just up here, give it up for Claudette. James Louis. Valerie Cartwright. Natasha Clerger. New Jersey County Commissioner Michelle Delifort. Clyde Vanel. Yudson Tyson Francois. I saw him earlier. Give it up for him. Francois Delister Leger. Sabrina Charles Pierre. Nerva La Fortune and Dolores Dorsonville. Please give it up for all of our elected members. All right. All right, great all right. job. Councilwoman Linda did an amazing job. Should I warn you that we supposed to have a remark from our majority leader, U.S. Senator Chuck Schumer, 
and that remark will be available on Neon website. So please check it out so you can see the remark by our honorable. Okay, so now we're moving on to the presentation of Community Leader Awards and Remarks. I have been told you have time to speak, but we'll do it the TV way. Okay. So we clock you for 30 seconds. Hopefully we can beat that. Let's see. I think we can. First, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for a face that you've seen probably more than every Sunday. A face that serves as a motivation for not only Haitian living in South Florida, but Haitian living around the world. Lately, he's been very active in so many activities to push forward Haiti to change the image of Haiti around the world. And it is truly an honor to introduce to you the man, our Bishop, Gregory Toussaint. Please joining us on stage for. Proud of you, sir. Thank you for all you do. And we have the amazing member to join you to say thank you for all you do. We're taking the picture right now. You should be there. Okay. He will say a few words real quick to our community, but with the picture. And I wanted to invite our new chairwoman to join us as well for the picture. If you could, please. Now, your attention, please, for a quick remark by Bishop Kegoi. Merci. Salut à tous. Uh, 1996, I was in college. I was taking an accounting class, and in my class, there was a Japanese girl. And of course, for us Haitians, I mean, at, at least at that point, we didn't differentiate Japanese from Koreans, from from Chinese, they've been go, they no So uh, we say, uh, you know, we call her a Chinese, and we realize she was turning red. And after that, the teacher called us and said, "Never confuse a Chinese with a Japanese." And we said, "Why?" That was in 1996, and I remember that accounting teacher told me. China is a poor country. Japan is a rich country. So never confuse them. I would have never thought that in 2024 that China would be one of the richest, not one of the rich, one of the top richest country in the world, even coming close to the United States. So what that tells me is that a country can change in a generation. And I believe that we are the generation that will make the difference. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, Bishop. Congratulations. Change is possible. That was the message that I got from that. Indeed. So at this time, we would like to present the NEON Community Champion Award to the Haitian Ladies Network Steering Committee in recognition of your exceptional achievements to inspire the Haitian community presented on this 27th day of January, 2024. Chairwoman, would you please do the honors? Would the steering committee please come up for the Haitian Ladies Network? Here they are coming. Put your hands together for them, ladies and gentlemen. Merci à Nian qui reconnaît le monde pendant yo en vie et non les yo allé. All right, an amazing picture time with our new chairwoman. Congratulations to all of you. Um, well, on behalf of um, all of us from the Haitian Ladies Network, um, part co-founders and current um, steering committee members, we want to really say thank you to Neon for 
this um, amazing um, acknowledgement. We do this work because we love all of you. We love Haiti. So thank you for all of the support that um, we've um, received through the last um, years. Thank you very much. Thank you. Councilwoman Linda. Gon lot bagay mbo alfe. Madam poko ali. Madam poko ali. Nbo alfe balan kriol. Ay tipe anglais sabi etombe bani. Na komunote pa nuan. Monsieur, nous avons l'autre gens que nous honorons, mesdames, qui mettent en pile valeur sur valeur. Pourtant, ça m'a demandé seul, monsieur, pour nous battre un gros bravo pour l'équipe, mesdames, qui mettent tête ensemble, qui travaillent pour représenter nous bien. Un gros bravo, monsieur seulement. Femme tant de nous, femme tant de nous, monsieur. Femme tant de monsieur. There we go. Thank you so much, ladies. Qu'on y a un sentiment avec monsieur. Thank you so much, ladies. Congratulations again. Oh, is that me? Don't they look lovely? Ou imagine nous après fait ça là, pour y avoir dit Monsieur ni en yo vie ni yo. Oh! Non. Nah. Thank you so much, guys. We love you. Next, Neon 15th Annual Leadership Summit Community Champion Award presented to our one and only Jill Charleston. Association for Haitian Professionals. Congratulations, sir. Well deserved. So um, I only have 30 seconds, I believe. Wanted to say first, uh, thank you to NEON. Thank you to the Banquet Committee, the NEON Planning Committee, uh, Chairwoman, outgoing Chairwoman, um, Charlotte Frederick, and incoming Chairwoman, um, Estime, Madam Estime Irving. Thank you to all of you. I wouldn't be remiss to not recognize my better half, who's been with me along this journey, Natalie Felix, my wife. And uh, it's uh, been 20 years since we've been at this, and it's a very uh, important moment to recognize what we have done. I see this as not just for me, but for the testament of all the team members. I see some of my members here, Soraya, Jodi Pes here, and others who are not able to come today. And this is a testament of the joint effort that we've put together over the years to do the work and make sure that we shine, we make our communities being relevant. Um, one last word before we leave. I wanted to keep in your heart and in your mind the following. Always don't underestimate the power you have inside of you, the power of change each one of us hold. I always go back to what our ancestors did. On August 14, 1791, at Wakaima, there were 200 slaves out of 450,000. Do the math, 200 out of 450,000. What did they do? They had an elevated level of consciousness that something was wrong, was being done, that was immoral. And they stood the ground. They had the energy and the conscientious to realize that needed to be changed. They did not wait for someone to come and help them. They stood the ground. And guess what? Some of them sacrificed, they never saw it. Bookman died. Jean-Francois died. Biasu ended up dying in St. Augustine. The city of St. Augustine is in recognition of Georges Biasu as one of the founding members of that city. The reason I'm saying that to you is to recognize that it took the energy of 13 years to bring you independence. And don't underestimate the power you, each one of you have. You need the critical mass of conscious individuals to make the change. 2024 is Haiti's year. It will happen. All right. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you for that. That was more than 30 seconds, but it was worth it. So thank you so much. And the best part of acknowledging his wife, so we know that he won't be having, going back on a safe home, right? For That's sure. Right. Happy, okay. Happy the next wife, one. Happy we got to move fast. Life. So, all right. Happy wife, happy life. That's right. All right. So this next award is 
going to, this is the Community Champion Award presented to Gali Eme Community IET in recognition of your exceptional achievement to inspire the Haitian community. Gary, please come up. Put your hands together, yes. Gary. All right, I've been told it's great with time, so we're going to keep up the 30 seconds. So I'll have to follow Jill after the 30 seconds. He took away my 30 seconds, but I'll make it quick. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. I am Gali, but it's BNMA, but immigration messed it up and called me MA. But let's move on from that. Thank That's you actually so much. It's on your award. It says MA. It doesn't yes, say BNMA. I, oh, okay. It was a teaser. It was an icebreaker. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, everybody. Komitai is a small organization in Baltimore. We are strive to connect the community um, of Baltimore City. We've been doing some wonderful work. On behalf of the board, of myself, this is part of the board, part of the community. Neom, thank you for the acknowledgement. Thank you for noticing the hard work that we're doing. And I know, Jill, you thank your wife. However, I brought my wife as well, so I want to thank my wonderful wife for here with me. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. merci beaucoup and have a wonderful evening. Congratulations. Absolutely. And I just recognize uh, council member Kat Guillaume is here from Maryland. Thank you so much. I interviewed her earlier. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, the next award goes to someone well known in our community. And I'm so proud to say that this is someone from where I came from. So proud to say congratulations on behalf of Neon to John Steve Brunash. John Steve Brunash doesn't need an introduction for what he does and for what he's still doing to our community. Is Steve around here? I think I see Steve. Okay. So I'll take that back for him to Jeremy. Very good. Okay. Right. The next one. And so the next award is being presented to Dr. Carl Latorti. Yes. Thank you. And I truly appreciate this award, and I accept this on behalf of all healthcare workers. Any healthcare workers in the house? You should applaud yourself for what we've done over the past three years, especially here in, in, in the States. Now, when I was coming up here, my wife reminded me, please don't be long. But I reminded her that John Brunash did not make it here, so I have a minute. Having said that, he healthcare is the biggest commodity that we have. And I think it's very important as elected officials, NEON, that we pay special attention to the disparities in healthcare. Any community that is not healthy will not survive or thrive. So again, I thank NEON for the work that you've done all of you elected officials, and I want to give a shout out since my wife already told me that I went over my 30 seconds, uh, to Mercedes Narcisse, who's doing a wonderful job in New York, Kari Solage, Rita, all of you, I thank you, and not to forget Mona Lisa Ferrari, and again, my beautiful wife who has su supported me throughout the years, thank you, my love. And again, this is on behalf of all the healthcare workers. And thank you, Neon, for this honorable award. Si gen infirmier na sala la bad bravo pou tèt nou, infirmier yo, bad bravo pou tèt nou. Got to be proud of yourself. Mwen men wè infirmier yo. E docteur yo, e docteur yo. What about the doctors? Yeah, but mwen men wè infirmier haïtien yo, on lot bagay. All right, the next one goes to Ernst Floreal, retired lieutenant in our community. Thank you so much for your work. 
And thank you for being here with us tonight. Yes. Congratulations, Let's sir. Let's give our honoree a round of applause, please. It will be 15 seconds. He said, I don't need to talk. Well, I am really very humbled receiving such an honor from, from all, such a great, great organization. First, I'm a Christian. I have to take time Hold to on. say thank the Lord. Hold on. Hold on. Guys, let's just have one conversation. Let's please show some respect to the honorees up here, and let's have one conversation, okay? Thank you. Well, as I said, I am very honored, very humble to receive this from such a prestigious organization. I got to take a minute to, to thank the Lord because I'm a great and I have a lot to thank him for. I got to take these beautiful women right here by me. God put just a beautiful woman right on my path. Thank you. Aww. I also have to thank my two daughters, my sisters right there, my nieces and nephews that rallied around post 911. Without them, I don't know where I'll be right now. And uh, give yourself a round of applause. Very great, great group over here, up here. And uh, thank you for supporting Neon. Enjoy your night. The next Community Champion Award is being presented to Elise St. Louis. Elise, please make your way towards the stage. Yes. A woman in black. You look gorgeous. My name is Elsie St. Louis. I'm the CEO Executive Director of Hope. Thank you, Neon, for this award, which I share with the founders, staff, board of directors of Hope, this 48-year-old organization that I happily and proudly lead in New York. To my elected officials in New York, thank you for your continued support and kudos. Congratulations, Neon. Congratulations. All right. As we're moving forward and fast, the next award goes to the Haitian American Center for Social Economic Development, Rodney Montreuil. Rodney in the building? Okay, so we'll save that for the center. Oh, there we go. Okay. Congratulations. And we have our chairwoman to take the picture of the night. My name is Rachel, and I'm from Arizona. And um, I'm from Arizona, and then I'm here to be, I'm here to represent uh, Rodney Montreuil, who was uh, the founder of Accept. He passed away last year, in 2023. But I can say uh, for the past, Two days when I'm here, I learned two words to impact and to work together. Twenty days before he passed, I went to visit him. He, he was not able to talk. He asked for a piece of paper and a pen. He wrote down. He said, Rachel, whatever happened to me, don't stop. We have to keep moving. We have to keep pushing. Because when he created the Accent in 2016, his mission was to create the social economic development in Arizona, especially for the new arriving. So he said, don't stop. When he was saying that, I didn't understand why he was saying that. I said, Rodney, it's time for you to take care of yourself. Because you're always taking care of people. He was a leader in Arizona. He was a sponsor, he was a, uh, he was a landlord, he will keep people in his house. Uh, he will go to prison to get Haitian people out of prison, detention. He will do everything, he will never say no. 
When he passed, this is the time I know what he was talking about. So right now, whenever somebody calls, I said, oh my God, I have to keep pushing. Because he said, you have to keep pushing and I cannot stop. So I, I want to thank Leon, Neon for having me today uh, for the special invitation. And Christine was the vice chair when uh, Axel was created in 2016. Uh, but now she's still a board advisor. And I have the treasure with me, a Jean Blood. And myself, I'm the vice uh, chair now. Yeah. You know, it's really hard. But, you know, with the help of everybody here, I think we will keep moving. And Axel will continue to provide servicing to the Haitian people in Arizona. And thank you, thank you again. And a big round of applause to all Haitians living in Arizona, the Haitian community of Arizona. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. All right. We are getting towards the very end of the award portion of the evening. And so this next award is being presented to Aline Marie Latour. Please come up. Yes. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Thank you, former Madam Chair Charinette. I have the distinct pleasure of having with me my cousin, Judge Lionel Jean-Baptiste. Um, we're from Chicago, Illinois, and I want to thank Neon for this great honor. I also want to thank my cousin, I call him brother, who um, called me and said, you it from Chicago. I said, no, 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 somebody else, but he insisted. That's because he takes me everywhere he goes for advocacy for our people. Aline Lutier of Chicago with the Coalition of Haitian American Organizations. We've been working with the migrants since the end of 2021. We can't let our people suffer. We can't leave them behind. We continue to advocate and we want them to have equal treatment. We're advocating consistently. I also have the great honor of sitting with my other brother, Attorney General Kwame Raoul of Illinois and his wife, Lisa, and our Illinois contingent also includes my sister, attorney, Marilyn Toussaint, and my brother, Jude Laudet. I want to thank Neon. I was there when Neon was born. At uh, one time, I was an administrator of their Facebook page with Alix Desulme. Um, glad to see so many here. Neon has grown. The baby has grown. Congratulations. I am so proud. Proud to be here with you among all our elected officials who keep advocating. Thank you so much. All right, congratulations once again. And our next award the winner goes to Elvis Dumerville. Elvis Dumerville, congratulations. Elvis here? He's not here? Oh, nephew's here to pick it up on his behalf. All right. So nephew's here also get a chance to take a picture with our new chairwoman. Thank you so much, Elvis. While we're taking the picture, council woman, we have our next. Yes. So the final community champion award is being presented to Dr. Gerald Gabo. Yes, a phenomenal woman that I had a chance to meet in Boston. She's doing so much to help the migrants, to help the Haitian community over there. We are so proud of you and thank you for all you do to our communities. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, I take this uh, award not just uh, for myself, but for every single one who is working side by side with me, 
every day to give a second chance to our brothers and sisters who are coming through our midst. I want Neon to understand that there is a job to do. There is advocacy to do because we have too many of our brothers and sisters who are suffering from everything that you can think or imagine. So this is the time for us to take action. So everyone, wherever you are, let's raise our voice so that our brothers and sisters can be treated with respect and dignity. They deserve it. And this is our obligation for us to work hard so they know that they are human beings and they need to be treated with respect. So thank you so much, everyone. With the Honorable Rita Joseph and Youth Caucus Chair Princess Jolie Charles, please make your way towards the stage for the presentation of Scholarship Award and Remarks. And at this time, I will kindly ask our new chairwoman to please rejoin your seat and have a little break uh -oh. as they are moving forward. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Much better. I am Council Member Rita Joseph, representing the mighty borough of Brooklyn, the 40th Council District. Where is New York? New York in the house? That's what I'm talking about. Sorry, Florida. New York is in the house? That's right. That's right. Let them hear you. Let them hear you. And I'm from the mighty borough of Brooklyn. You know Brooklyn is the center of the universe. Period. Period. <laughs> I am also the education chair in the New York City Council, overseeing one of the largest school systems in the country, not in the state or the city. And I'm also the first Haitian American to sit in this seat. So it is an honor. So what that means is I get to shape educational policy in New York City. So tonight, NEON will honor two young scholars. What our mission is to make sure we are raising and giving the next generation of leaders the tools that they need to succeed. So the first honoree I'm gonna call is Chloe Alce. Is Chloe in the house? Chloe, where are you? Come on down and clap her on. She is the next generation that's going to lead this city, state, and country. Let me read a little bit about her. Okay. So first generation Haitian American has always aimed to serve her community, the relationship building. She is a student at George Washington University, majoring in health professionals and clinical sciences and also works as a clinical research assistant at the George, Uni George Washington University Hospital. Her responsibilities include identifying social determinants of health that prevent low-income patients in Ward 7 and 8 to receiving, receive the care they need. Additionally, she is enrolled in patients in clinical trials to ensure that they serve the necessary care. Ms. Elsa has actively participated in grassroots activism through her work, high school, and college. She has also worked with various organizations such as the Green Party, Youth Over Guns, Mutual Aid Groups. Her focus has been working with media, underrepresented people overlooked by mainstream media. Ms. Alce has also worked with undocumented immigrants. I will wait for you to stop talking. Yes, I used to be a teacher too for 22 years. Thank you. And she also has worked with undocumented immigrants in the deten detention centers to learn about injustices they face. She has strongly advocated for their rights through protests and community meetings. And on behalf of NEON, we thank you for your service, and we are presenting you with a scholarship tonight to continue your service, and we are proud to have you. So clap it up for her. This is the next generation. We must invest in them in order for them to succeed. Thank you. Let's clap it up again for Ms. Chloe Alsee. Let's clap it up again for Councilwoman Rita Joseph and all the work that she has done. And before I continue, 
I want to ensure that we're all in a respectable place. So as I'm on this platform and I'm presenting this award to the youth, I would like for everybody to quiet down. And if any conversations that you have, please take it outside. Thank you. So once again, my name is Princess Jolie Charles. You probably see my face on the flyer. I've seen me around, running around like a maniac during this conference. I serve as the Youth Council Chair for this organization during this conference. And one thing that I would like to say about NEON, and I would like to thank the members of NEON for doing, is that this year we wanted to place emphasis in, on ensuring that the youth has a seat at the table. One thing that I kept repeating to everyone during the conference was, if you're not sitting at the table, you're gonna be on the meal. You're gonna be on the menu. And trust me, you don't wanna be on the menu. You wanna be the one whose your voice is being heard, you're making the decisions, you're bringing the opinions to the table, and this is what we're doing this year. So I want us to give Neon a round of applause. Give a round of applause to the, the chairwoman, the chair, uh, Charnette, all of us for doing what we're doing. I have the honor of presenting this award to Ms. Sheldon St. Fleur. Sheldon St. Fleur is currently pursuing her PhD in education at Seton Hall University. She is a first generation college student who, as student success advisor at Seton Hall University Educational Opportunity Program, helps students like herself adjust to college life and navigate campus. Additionally, Sheldon is an active member and leader in several community groups, such as Good News Community Action, the Rotary Club, the First Haitian Baptist Church at Asbury, and New Jersey Haiti Partners. For the past seven years, she has served as an honorary co-chair for the annual Haitian Heritage Month celebration. She is committed to understanding diversity issues in higher education and developing skills as a culturally competent and critically aware scholar and leader. After earning her doctorate, she plans to use her leadership skills to promote diversity, equity. Can we please quiet down? Thank you. Her skills to promote diversity, equity, and inclusivity and community improvements. Ms. St. Fleur is driven by her passion for helping people, which motivates her to achieve her goals of making positive impact. She values maintaining a continuous commitment to service, leading by example through service, and creating meaningful impact. Ms. St. Fleur strongly believes that this is our collective responsibility to work towards making the world a better place for future generations. Ms. St. Fleur, if you can come to the stand and so we can all see you, my love, please step forward and accept this award. Thank you for your commitment to our community. Yes, yes, yes. And we are gonna hand this off to the next person on the list. Thank you. Okay, all right. Um, while they are taking the pictures, I'm gonna ask you guys for a huge favor. I'm gonna ask each and every one of you if you could please stand. Please stand. Oh, I didn't know that it was that difficult to do. I didn't know it was that difficult to do. Soutan dem fonti campé souple, fonti campé. Fonti campé. The role models down here, there you go. If you can please stand. If you can please stand. El jefe que me está mirando por aquí. De pie, por favor. There you go. He just only speaks Spanish. So you got to say it in Spanish. All right, perfect. While you are all standing, I'm going to ask you to do me one huge favor. Look at someone next to you. Just say, I love you. And I want to hear it. Let's go. I cannot hear you. There you go. Thank you so much. Please be seated. It's very difficult in the world that we are living right now to share love with one another. While we are sitting close to each other, you are so busy on the phone. It's good that we can give a hug to someone and say, I love you. That that person means something to you in your community. But don't worry, I am not a teacher. I'm not going to ask you to keep it down. I'm not going to ask you to please your attention, but if you want to do it, you do it. If you don't want to do it, I have one only member, which is now what we are turning to the neon members that we are honoring. And that person doesn't need to tell you to stay quiet. 
you know you have to stay quiet. Because where he's at, he's the king. And he does not play. He does not play. So please, put your hands together as we are, as we are welcoming and honoring three NEON members. The first one goes to, got to go from the beginning, NEON National Haitian American Elected Officials Network, 15th Annual Leadership Summit, Excellence Award, presented to the Honorable Mackenzie Lapointe in recognition of your exceptional leadership to our community. Thank you so much, sir, for leaving the warm weather to come in here to join us. Congratulations. And at this time, we are asking the honorary, the honorable to stay here with us as we are moving forward to the second award. Goes to, please stay here with us, sir. Second award goes to the first Haitian American woman elected in the state of Florida representing, well, no, she's not the, well, she is the first Haitian American elected in the state of Florida representing the 20th Congressional District. And she goes by the name of Sheila Sherfless McCormick. Please come up. I need a bigger round of applause for the honor. Yes, come on. This is our Congresswoman, guys. And the third NEON member to be recognized tonight goes to Honorable Kwame Raul in recognition of your exceptional leadership to our community. Thank you so much as he's joining us right here on stage. Congratulations. It's coming right here. There you go. Make sure that, you know, get it to the right hand. All right, congratulations, sir. Please come over here. And at this time, I'm asking all NEON members to please come forward. Well, before they come forward, we just want to allow our three honorees to say a few words. And we're going to start with our U.S. attorney. Look, uh, folks, I, unfortunately, I have to make a correction. Uh, Department of Justice has all kinds of rules, uh, un uncomfortable and inconvenient rules. Um, in fact, before coming here last week, we had to go through a whole bunch of rigmarole. They have rules about uh, uh, taking pictures with elected officials. They have rules about being on podium with elected officials for all kinds of non-obvious reasons and obvious reasons. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, it, if you see me act a certain way and I refuse to take pictures with elected officials has nothing to do with you. It has to do with me being able to go back home uh, and be able to uh, not get into unnecessary trouble with the Justice Department. I am obviously very thankful to be here. I'm very thankful to be part of this uh, place here. Um, there is no place that I'd rather be than with my good Haitian people because there's just, there is a, there is a deep, there's a deep pride uh, that, that I have when I see this. And just to close, um, what I do know is when I heard all these folks here talking about the plight of the American of Haitian people, what I do know is this. From every single person that I know from back in Haiti, all I know is Haitian people have the grit. They have the absolute heart to fight, notwithstanding all there is. Back when I was in the Marine Corps, when I was in a war, the Haitian Marines that I know, they were the hardest fighting Marines that I knew. They were the sharpshooters or the guys who qualified on the tanks in the first round. Those were the people that I knew. And all of us back in the Corps, we couldn't even barely speak English, broken English. We were the greatest patriots. We cared about this country, the very depth of our heart. 
and we give our soul to this country. What I see here is the soul, the Haitian soul that has survived, that has continued to survive. And I'm so proud to be with you guys. Unfortunately, I'm going to sit over here for now for DOJ rules. Thank you, Mayor Irvin. I truly appreciate you. Okay. Big round of applause. I want to call on George Lano Jean-Baptiste to introduce Honorable Kwame Raru. Good afternoon, everybody. Good evening. This is an important man, Attorney General Kwame Raoul, who won two elections, statewide election, against some formidable opponents in the state of Illinois. I believe that if he wants to run for U.S. Senator when one of the seats become vacant, he may be able to get it and be able to join, may be able to join Congresswoman Sheila McCormick in Washington, D.C. And if they mess around a few more years out, I believe he may run for president and win. So this is one of our, you know, we want, we want to make sure that everybody understands who he is. Kwame's bio is rather long, and I see our chair lady is saying, hurry up. Um, among the things that Kwame has done in the state of Illinois, he was the one who put the nail in the coffin of the death penalty in Illinois. You have to understand that. He brought closure to that. Kwame Raul has also, of late, brought more light to the dirt of the Catholic uh, religion, the priests that have been doing harm to our, our children. He exposed that. Attorney General was able to bring uh, more charges against them and force them to pay more uh, damages. Um, there are many things to be said about him. He's engaged in making sure that the uh, work that needs to be done to protect our migrants, to make sure that uh, uh, we advance temporary protective status, that they get the necessary uh, papers that they need, and he continues to raise his voice against the question of repat repatriation of our people without due process. I don't want to say more because they're running after me, but I want to introduce Attorney General Kwame Raoul, my brother. Good evening. That's my big brother there. So uh, he, he just said my speech, so we can bring the music on. Um, actually, Madame Tessier over there wrote a speech for me, but I, uh, I'm not going to say it. But it's a real honor uh, to be amongst you. I don't get a chance uh, to make all NEON meetings, uh, but that doesn't mean I'm not with you in spirit. Um, know that. And I know most of y'all come from uh, DeSantis's Florida or, <laughs> or Trump's New York. <laughs> But I come from Jean-Baptiste Point du Sable, Chicago. <laughs> and I rock the spirit of a man who settled on a wilderness lake in the Midwest and had the vision of a metropolis, had the vision of making a contribution. And when I think about our struggle, and I think about how sometimes I'm greeted by people who look like me and say that I'm not adults. They say I'm not adults. I tell them, uh, the freedom ball didn't start rolling until Haiti, Mother Haiti, broke the chains. And so it's important because in Chicago, while I say Jean-Baptiste Point de Salle, people try to refer to him as a French Canadian with no mention of Haiti. And so it's important that we preserve our history. It's important that people realize that Haitians fought not only for the liberty of black people in the Western Hemisphere, but for the liberty of this country in the Siege of Savannah. So we must preserve our history. And we must remind folks, because Haiti is suffering right now, and it's suffering as a result 
of punishment that emanated from this country over the history of the last two centuries. And so it's our responsibility collectively to advocate for Haitians throughout the diaspora and for our mother Haiti that is responsible for the liberty of black people in the Western Hemisphere. So I thank you all for your collective advocacy. Know that as Attorney General, I was introduced into a room where we have a power of advocacy. And at the time, uh, Carl Racine, who was the Attorney General of DC, and I were able to force a conversation that would get 20 attorneys general to sign on to statements that would advocate for due process for Haitian asylum seekers in a way that would not have happened had we not been in the room. And while Carl has moved on, just last month, I uh, came together with my sister Tish James from New York and Andrea Campbell to advocate for expedited work authorization. And so the fight goes on. But I thank you for your collective advocacy. And I move on because I want to hear some music. Thank you, Honorable. Congresswoman, please say a few words. Well, good evening again. I just want to say um, a big thank you to Neon and tell you one of the reasons why Neon is so important. Neon actually gives us an opportunity to come together, but not only just to come together, but to encourage each other to break the glass ceilings. It's imperative as we're breaking the glass ceilings that we stay close as a community. Now you have to understand, when you break the glass ceiling, more than likely than not, you do not have a mentor. That means you are on your own fighting and trying to figure it out. And when you're fighting and trying to figure it out by yourself, it is extremely lonely. And so as we stay here today, we are partnering with each other. There are more glass ceilings for us to break. There are more people to support. And we have to bring up our next generation. So I was so proud to see everybody standing up. And Princess, what are your Princess? I want to give a shout out to Princess, who has been interning in DC, because she's doing excellent work. And so as we, yes, Princess. And so as we move forward, let's continue to lift up our young women, our young men. Let's continue to open doors. And as we push forward new leaders who are breaking those get glass ceilings, let's support them. Let's pray for them, because you never know what they're going through. In addition to that, know anytime you're first, you always get all the shots. You get every shot, you get every hit. And so as every one of you go back into your homes, into your areas, we're supporting you, we're praying for you, and we got you back. Whatever it is you may need, we got you. And just to know that Neon is with you. Princess Umasvini, we. Come on, Princess. So thank you, Neon, for this award. Thank you, Princess, for volunteering and everything you're doing and being excellent in DC. I see you. I just wanted to recognize one of our next generations. But to Neon, to Mary, to the board, to everyone, thank you so much for creating a space where we can convene, where we can be ourselves, and we can actually talk about how we can advance, not just the Haitian community, but the black community, because we are all black in America. Thank you. Another Thank round of applause for our Congresswoman. And I believe that she is still celebrating her birthday. She so is. please don't be shy if you see her pass by and say happy birthday again to her. Okay, at this time, we are asking all NEON members to please join us on stage. All NEON members, please join us on stage. We have to take the picture of the year. You could move that there, girl. Thank you James, so much. that includes me. Yeah, that you stay here. Me. So you can hold my mic? Yeah, you okay. stay here. I hold your mic. There you go. All right. So, for that, I will call... My co-host, Councilwoman Linda Julian, to please help me recognize that amazing person receiving Lifetime Achievement Award. We would like to call up Reverend Joseph V. Teluska. Please come on up, Reverend Teluska.
to get your award. With grateful recognition, All right. Mary Corps and the Office of the President of the United States honors you, Reverend. Thank you for your work and thank you for all you do to our communities. A big round of applause to our Reverend. All right, let's do the picture real quick. All right, we got the professional pictures. Okay. All right. So, another round of applause for our Reverend, ladies and gentlemen, receiving that amazing award. As we are moving, that time is killing us. You guys have been talking. <laughs> You guys have been killing a lot. So, we have a 15 seconds. Yeah, because doctor. the band is already there, and we have a time that we have to move on. Dr. Okay? Aragman Dyke is the CEO of the Caribbean and African Faith-Based Leadership Conference and the conference liaison to the White House Faith-Based Cabinet Office. He is also certifying officials for the United States President's Volunteer Service Award. All right, put your hands together. Another 15 seconds recognition that we are doing tonight. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Could we stand for the presentation of this award from President Joseph R. Biden, Jr.? Could we all stand, please? Mine is the task to present the U.S. President's Lifetime Achievement Award to one of your Asian American who have been doing very, very hard work and this award is given to those who have done over 4,000 hours of outstanding service for the upliftment of the American society. I'm very, very impressed with this organization. I am very impressed because you are among all the organizations that visited in the Caribbean American community, you are one of the most dynamic organizations. As I present this award, I'm going to invite your congresswoman to join us, your leading elected official to join us, to participate in presenting this award from the office of President Joseph R. Biden, Jr. <laughs> congresswoman Sheila, before I read the citation, we now ask Congresswoman Sheila to present the gold medallion of honor on our honorary. <laughs> this award is accompanied with a letter signed by President Joseph R. Biden Jr. But in the interest of time, we will not read the letter, we will only read the citation. Lifetime Achievement Award. With grateful recognition, the AmeriCorps and the Office of the President of the United States of America honors Reverend Joseph V. Feluska with the President's Lifetime Achievement Award for your lifelong commitment to building a stronger nation through volunteer service, signed by President Joseph R. Biden, Jr. Congratulations. Congratulations. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. This is great. So where is my co-host? There he is. There he is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us tonight for the Neon Gala. Excuse me? Are they taking the pictures? Okay. All right. Pictures, yeah. We really have to go because we have the time for the band and we don't want to miss that part because of the timing that we have to do. So. We want to ask you to please put your hands together for all the honorees tonight, including the NEON members, for putting together such a great, great gala. Or should I say, this is one of a kind 
gala that you have here in the United States. Est-ce que nous sommes contents de faire ça à Soya? Est-ce que nous sommes contents de faire ça à Soya? If you guys are happy, I need you to clap for Neon one more time. A bigger time. <laughs> 